Yo, what's good guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So today's story time, in my opinion, is a very crazy one. This is one I've been saving for a very long time, just kind of waiting to tell. And I forgot about it for a while, and then I remembered it recently, and I was like, yeah, it's that time to tell this story time. So yeah, very crazy one. Hope you enjoy it. Leave a like on the video if you do. And before we jump into it, I just want to say that I have a new song coming out very, very, very soon. I'm going to be announcing it extremely soon, so go follow me on Twitter. I'll put it first link in the description if you want to follow me. And I'm going to be announcing it on Instagram as well, so if you follow me on either of those platforms, you'll see it. You don't have to follow me on those platforms if you don't want to. I'll be announcing it on YouTube as well, but usually those platforms get it first so i wanted to just let y'all know so yeah new music coming mad soon i'm so stoked on that i'm so excited thank you guys for being patient with me just want to make it as good as possible for you guys this next song i think in my opinion is definitely my best song yet and i hope you guys enjoy it anyway i'll shut up now and get to the story time like i said today's story time real crazy one leave a like in the video if you enjoy and let's jump into this so this story time takes place when i was 14 years old now, me being 14, I was at that weird age where my parents had a lot more trust in me because I could handle myself very well at that age, but at the same time, I was still a kid, so I wasn't completely, you know, ready for the dangers of the world, you could say, right? Now, 14-year-old me had a pretty easygoing routine. I would get up, go to school, come home, play Call of Duty, hang out with my friends. At this point, I was making YouTube videos. I wasn't making them on the Luna channel yet, I believe, but I had another channel I used to post on. And you know, the funny thing is, now that I'm talking about my life at 14 years old and, you know, what I did back then, it's funny to think about because my life hasn't even changed that much. Like, obviously it's changed, okay? But my routine is still pretty damn similar. It's just like, yeah, you know, hang out with friends when I can, make videos, you know, play Call of Duty, just kind of play video games. But the only really difference is, is I'm an adult now and I don't live with my parents anymore. And I'm a little bit more mature, I would say. Because 14-year-old me, I was an immature little fuck, right? Like, I used to laugh at anything. So yeah, anyway, this all starts off as a normal day. 14-year-old Luna wakes up, he gets up, brushes his teeth, takes a shower, gets ready for his day. And I'm sitting in my room playing some COD. And one of my friends calls me up. And he's like, yo, you want to hang out today? I'm about to go to the skate park. And I was like, yeah, bet, man, I'll meet you there. Now, the skate park, the one that we were going to at the time, was only like a mile down the road from my house. So I would just skate there and meet all my friends there instead of asking for a ride. So that's what I ended up doing. I told my friend that I would be there within the hour and I'd see him soon. And I went up to my mom, told her I was going to go to the skate park for a bit. She said, be safe, skate on the sidewalk, not the road, so your boy doesn't get hit by a car. And uh, that's what I did. Grabbed my board, started skating there. I skated there no problem, got there with no issues. I skated with my friends for like three hours straight. And then the sun started setting. And skating at this park at nighttime was really hard because they had no lights there. So at night, it was just pretty much done. So yeah, it got to be nighttime. Me and my friends decided to leave and go our separate ways. My one friend got a ride home from another friend of ours. Another friend of mine skated home. And I was left to skate home by myself. Now, to be honest, skating home at night didn't really bother me at the time, didn't really phase me. I had done it a bunch of times with no problems, nothing ever happened. It was actually kind of relaxing. I would just put my headphones in, listen to music, skate on the sidewalk, and just kind of have a nice relaxing skate home, right? Not this time. So after I leave the skate park and I start skating home by myself, I get about halfway to my house and I'm on this main road skating. And this van is pulled over on the side of the road. And let me tell you, this van was like the classic pedo van, right? Like, it was just old and beat up and just looking real sketchy. And as I'm getting closer to this van, I see this guy leaning up against it. And I'm just getting a little scared, right? Because, you know, weird looking van. Dude's kind of just standing up against his van looking real calm. And something about it just made me feel sketched out. So I just skate by and I have my head down, you know, not trying to make eye contact. And I hear this dude yell, yo, kid. And I stop and I'm like, what's up, man? He goes, can you help me with something real quick? Now, I had no idea what this guy would need my help for. I was 14, very skinny, very small. I don't think I could do anything to, you know, help this dude. So I ask him, I'm like, what do you need my help with? He's like, there's this big dog cage in the back of my van. I can't move it by myself. Can you help me move it out? And I was like, a dog cage? And he goes, yeah, come here. Like, I'll show you. And he starts kind of like, you know, doing that motion with his hand to come up to him and look in the back of his van with him. And at this point, I'm super nervous because if this dude can't lift this cage by himself, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to help him at all. So I tell him that. I'm like, hey, man, like, I don't think I can help you. I can't lift stuff. I'm pretty weak. And if you can't get it, there's no way I'm going to be able to get it with you. He goes, oh, no, like, come on. Like, I'm sure you could. Like, you got this. And then he goes, just come over here. Like, come take a look at it. See if you can do it. 
And I was like, I don't think so, man. I'm sorry. He goes, no, come on. Like, I insist. Now, listen, if you're ever in a situation like this, anything even similar to this, just run the other way. Get the hell out of there. Call for help. Like, that is just creepy. So at this point, I'm still unsure, right? Like, I can't tell if this dude's being serious or if he's trying to, you know, like, kidnap me or something. So I just tell him to have a nice day and I get on my skateboard and I start skating away and he's yelling. He's like, hey, come back. Hey, come on. Like, I'm not done talking to you. And all of a sudden he jumps in his van and he starts following me. So I'm freaking out at this point. This dude's literally after me and I take a quick right turn down this bike path. And luckily the bike path is too narrow for a car to fit down. So he's stuck. And when he realizes his van can't fit down the bike path, he jumps out of his van and starts screaming down the trail at me. He's like, hey, get back up here. And I just skated away as fast as I possibly could back to my house. And when I get home, I told my parents about it. They were freaked out. They asked me if I got the guy's license plate. I told them I didn't because I just wasn't focused on it. I was more focused on getting the hell out of there. And uh, yeah, I was really worried, right? Well, fast forward like two hours later, I'm on my Snapchat and I look over at my friend's stories and my friend posted a Snapchat story of a photo of that van and that guy standing outside of it in broad daylight like earlier that day. And it was a screenshot of like a Facebook post or something from like a neighborhood watch group. And it basically said something along the lines of watch out for this guy. He's been around this area. He's been asking people weird questions. The police have already been contacted. If you see him, don't go near him. And I'm just like freaked out, right? I'm like, yo, this dude really could have just kidnapped me. Like what is going on? So I called up my friend and I was like, yo, did you see that guy earlier too? Cause he was the one that was at the skate park with me. And he's like, nah, man, but like, I know that road that he's on in that photo. And like, that's a near the park and a bunch of our friends are young. Like I didn't want anyone getting hurt. So I had to repost it. I was like, yeah, man, I saw him on the way home tonight. He's like, what? I was like, yeah, the dude said that he had some giant cage in the back of his van. And he needed my help to lift it. And my friend goes, what? That's so fucking weird. And I was like, yeah. Then he proceeded to follow me like a creep. And my friend's like, yo, like you got to stay away from that area for a while. I was like, yeah, man, trust me. I'm gonna. And yeah, it's crazy to think about what could have happened if I, you know, tried to help that dude. So seriously, if you're ever in a situation, whether it's like the one I just described or a different kind of situation where you just feel uncomfortable and there's some guy weirding you out, get the hell out of there. Call the police. Just do whatever you got to do to be safe. But under any circumstances, never, ever, ever do what they're asking you to do. Like seriously, run in the other direction if they're asking you to come near their vehicle or they're trying to get you to come close to them for something and they're just not someone you know. But anyway, guys, yeah, I don't know what ended up happening to this dude. Hopefully he got caught. Hopefully he wasn't a kidnapper and he was just some strange dude that wasn't trying to hurt anybody. But based on how he was acting, I don't know. But yeah, guys, I thought this was a crazy one. I thought you guys would enjoy it. If you enjoyed this story time, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all later. Peace. Pay some back. I don't want to look back. I don't want to like that. I've been going too fast. All the girls like that. And the fake ones want to see my pulse go flat. And my day ones know I'm going to pay some back.